Thank you for tuning in to Simply Nass Media. My name is Sam, and this is the Thekus N2810 two-bay home storage NAS device. This particular model has the Thekus OS7. Without further ado, let's get to unboxing this one. Now the first thing you'll notice before un unboxing the device itself, packaging itself seems very visually appealing. Box, pretty standard, just your basic uh, lock tab style box. Four flaps. First box here we have is going to be our accessory box. We're going to put that to the side for later. Now inside, we have the actual NAS device itself. Now before removing this one, take a few extra steps to be safe with it. Go ahead and lay it on its side. Put your hand underneath. Then lay the box over very gently. And then lift the box itself off, exposing the NAS device itself. Give us just a moment here to pull the plastic off this one. We'll be right back. Now the first thing you'll notice about the device, of course, power button. Got to have that. Now along the side here, you'll have your LEDs. You'll have your first two are going to be your Ethernet connection. Then the bottom two are going to be your drives, letting you know that they're both functioning and working. And at the very bottom, you'll have your USB port, and you'll have your fast copy option as well. Uh, now the drives, the trays, are a little bit different. Instead of having to pry or having to unlock something to get them out, you can just push the button, pull the tray out, and you're done. Very sturdy, very easy to operate, very easy to put your drive into. Whenever you're finished, you're ready to put everything back in, just slide it all back in, push it down, and you're done. Now on the back of the device, first thing you'll notice, cooling fan. A little bigger than some of them, not quite as big as, you know, big industrial unit. And at the very bottom you'll have a communication port typically used for debugging and for repair and service technicians from the manufacturer and other service techs. Then you'll have your USB uh, ports and USB 3 port here. Uh, you have an HDMI and you have your two Ethernet connections. And at the very bottom you have the port for the external power supply that's in the accessories box that we'll go over here in a moment. Now working on the accessory box, you'll see that inside you have all of your components that you'll need with the device. In the box we have the Ethernet cable to put your device onto your network. Also have the power supply for the device as well. We have the keys for the drive bays. You also have the screws to secure the drives into the drive bays. You have the zip tie for the back of the device to keep your cables clean and out of the way. Then in this packet you'll find your warranty information and a quick start guide to help you get started with your new device. Now that we're done with the accessories box, let's talk about a few other features of this device. It is capable of 4K transcoding and it also is equipped with the Thekus OS 7 that we'll have in a later video. Stay tuned for future videos on this device and many of our others we have coming in the future. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this device or any other devices that we have, feel free to email us at sales at simplynas.com. And if you'd like our videos, hit the like. And if you have any other uh, interests with any of our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our page. This way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest new devices that we have on the market. Thank you for watching.